Hello, good morning everyone. This is a very quick one. Today is uh, the 1st of August. Welcome to a new season. Today, my protest is about the wickedness that has been going on in my life for a long time. I pretend as if I'm not saying it, but today I'm going to air it out. I want the whole world to hear about it. When I write in my page that I'm helped by God, I'm mightily helped by God, is because of the cry of my mother. My lovely mother is in Nigeria. She since I is 2018, my life has never been the same. 2018, I was diagnosed of kidney failure. That I had to undergo some treatment of dialysis. Which my mother was crying every day and night. I said, what is this? I was planning that you would come with your children and visit me. And what is going on? I said, I don't know. Okay. I managed to handle it. Even the father of my kids left me and said, he cannot be able to stand it, that I, I cannot uh, be hindrance to its progress, that it's going outside the country to look for money. So he left. In that condition, I was with my one-year-old baby, the, the third one, Victoria. So you can imagine that somebody that is on life support treatments, how to back your baby, carry them to school, all those things. I was the only one with three kids, taking care of my kids. The old neighbors around were looking at me, saying, why are this woman suffering like this? Okay. On 2020, uh, when we were about to enter 2020, God had mercy on me, and they found a kidney for me and called me, and they gave me the transplant of kidney. I give glory to God, I thank them. And my mother was very happy when I gave her the message that this is, uh, they are about to do me the operation. She was happy, praying, oh, very soon, I know how we see you. Okay. After the, the, the kidney transplant, 2021, suddenly they called me. There was a tablet I used to take to continue the maintenance of the kidney. They called me 2021 that they were going to change the the medication they will be giving me one will be they will put it as suggestion i will be taking it every 14 days i said okay i managed to accept it i said it will be better instead of taking drug every day maybe every 14 days so i went to take it as i went to take the this medication my system changed oh my body changed i started reacting funny i take the first one the second one i, I, I said no anytime i go for this medication this is when this uh, my body reacts Suddenly, they start. They chained me. The hospital. They said I was running mad and everything. So many things went wrong. And because I am a Christian, during those process of so many things that went wrong, I started speaking the words. The Holy Spirit take over me, and I started saying so many. So they understand that I was uh, filled with the Holy Spirit, and uh, I don't know what happened. They later quarantined me and said I had COVID and so many things. I suffered so many things, but at the end of the day, I came out victorious. I was okay again. And the moment they see that, I realized that I, I came back to normal. This time, my children was with somebody as that helped me to take care of the children. Then, the moment they say I, I am okay, suddenly, uh, the, the people that uh, I, was, uh, I was owing rent, they gave me quick notice. Imagine somebody that just coming out of uh, COVID to, to face quick notice. And they said I will leave the house on the 14th of July. What do I do? I was just coming out of sickness. You people are supposed to have mercy on me. Suddenly, you are giving me quick notice. They wanted to frustrate me more so that I can go back to the mental state. But to God be the glory, after they have planned everything on the on the fourteenth to uh, evict me, suddenly uh, uh, they have planned it on the fifteenth to uh, evict me. Something like that. on the fourteenth, I got a house in Asket in a village. Suddenly, it was a miracle. So they could not even believe it because I was not even having money. To even rent the apartment. I was not having money. But the people, they I don't know how God did everything. It was just the hand of God throughout. And suddenly, 
I I could be in the I could be able to carry that house. You understand, my friend, one girl that God directed me to Sister Queen. She know the story. She was the one that now I packed my load. When police came, they packed out my things from the house. Then Sister Queen, her boss in our house. May God bless her wherever she is. And from there, later when I go to the house, that I received, Queen borrowed me some money that I used to pay for the house. May God bless her. So that is how I went to that house. I was there. I was thanking God. I said, Ah, even though I'm in a village, I don't care. So far, I'm living peaceful because the place was very okay. It was very fine. Suddenly, they, they, they wrote letter. They said, they called me. They said, they are bringing me back to the town that uh, I, I, there's a house for me. I, I, and I said, the place, they even called me to come and carry it. The place was very open. It's very okay. I, I, I said, I have not seen any black in this area before. And it, it's, a, it's a very special place in the city. And I said, I, I cannot reject this kind of house. okay. That is how I came to this, this place that I'm in. But since I've been here in this house, I've noticed so many things. So many police following me. What did I do? Did I thief? Am I running mad? Or what is it? You people gave me medication that went wrong with my system. And my sister, I've never had any mental issue in my life. So why will you continue to embarrass me? Nobody associates with me. Told all of them lies that I'm running mad. That I'm saying, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? You spoil my name, spoil my reputation. My children don't have friends. Even in the school. Somebody even told my little girl, my little baby, uh, that she's a ghost. You can imagine that. You can imagine that. When they plan, they say they cannot succeed. They begin to... It, 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 I, I, I don't even associate with anybody because before I knew, they would, they would tell the person not to associate with me so that they are planned, that, that they think they, it, I, their head will die in this country. They will put the, their head in a museum so that people will come and be seeing their head there. God forbid, but I will not be the one you will kill in this land and put in a museum. You, your family, the, the prayer of my mother we bring judgment on this land if you people did not do justice to my case. You put me in this house, you put me in letter E so that my star will continue to shine in Spain. You are using my, my daughter to birthday, 11 years birthday. That is the number 11 you are giving to your footballers and all the people all over the world. So be women, they, you, you, call, you know anything that my, 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 anything I do bring blessing. You are using it to, to uh, uh, I'm happy for you. Not that I'm not happy for you, but what is that? If you use what if you use the blessings of God in my life to make words, you should do justice to it. Because the justice of the blessing of God in my life is not for sale. But if you are using it to make money, then you must do justice to it. You take it to France, you take all the, the, the prophetic action I put in my world as a prophetic word for my for my life. You give it to them, number 11, so that they will, they will be winning. That Let me tell you, God is not your mate. Whosoever is doing those rubbish, God is not your mate. God is not your mate. The, my, my Christianity is not for you to be using it to be making money. You understand? My mother is in Africa. She is crying every day and like begging God. When will my daughter, when will I see my grandchildren? When will I see my daughter? For many years. Then you put me under control here. The money my children are supposed to receive in this summer, they, 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 they hide it so that I will not have money to take my children to vac vacation. I will not have money to do anything. My children are suffering. For these people, they are wicked. God will judge all of them. The mercy of God is a mercy of judgment also. If you do good to the good ones, you will receive good. But if you do wickedness, you will not have peace. You will not have peace. You know, have peace. You will pay with what pay you most. You must do justice. My mother must see her grandchildren. My mother must see that I must not die in this land. You will not use me for your museum and whatever you are preparing there. God judge all of you. You will be the one that will go into that museum, not me, not my children. My children are for the glory of God. My life is for the glory of God. And we are not to be used as instruments of a sample in, in, any, in any museum. God for be back to God bless everyone. And more life. We are living for Jesus. We shall not die. I shall not die in this land. My children shall not be slave in this land. God for be back I shall not be a slave in this land. Today, this is my process. And this process must end now. Enough is enough. I need justice. And let the mercy of God fight my battle today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord.